Kawabunga dudes. Yeah, so that will be my new intro and I'll just play Super Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z in the background. But anyway, I've, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd talk about something um, that I haven't before. And I didn't want to do loot boxes because I'm, I'm getting, honestly, a little fatigued from that. So I thought I'd talk about something that I've been putting off for a while, honestly. And that's Steam Curators, because it, or reviews in general, but there's more specifically something I want to tackle. Firstly, as you may know, um, my opinion on reviews is that it's something that we should all talk about, that we, you know, we should be able to freely express our own opinion without, um, well, you know, criticism comes with everything, I guess, but, um, you know, everyone should be free to give it and so forth. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't have their right to express their own opinion cut off from them by devs or whatever the fuck, you know, because that's been a thing in the past before, but <clears throat> let's just see some of these reviews because like many people bash on some of my reviews for instance which is like this is just my own opinion like fucking who gives a shit because reviews are such a small thing as uh, an unimportant thing because you know reviews are kind of important so it's just we'll always have like review we we'll always have a ton of people doing reviews like you come come from literally anyone you don't need to be have any qualifications or anything for it you know so there's there is not really like a, a thing that's really concerningly like oh no we need more reviewers you know like that will never happen in reality so of course i thought you know what's the very worst of reviews that you can get and a lot of people think that's the memeable funny ones but you know they give you a bit of laugh so the ones that I'd say are the worst are these ones, because these critiques, the, these um, curators, they generally get games early. They, they get them a, a couple months early, sometimes even years early before they're even released for free, completely for free. And some of the reviews that you get are literally just critique doge that, that just say shit like, many battles, such scars, very blood, eight out of 10, pause. You know, but it's like, did you even play an hour of this? <clears throat> now let's see this one. This one's the one of the first ones that I ever saw that just has things like I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favorite game on Steam. And as you see here, he, he kind of just says that for everything. Like I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favorite game on Steam. And notice the exact like words here. Like if we were to copy and paste this. It's literally the exact same thing for every fucking game that he plays. It's just a copy and paste text that he puts on everything. Like, it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy. How, how many hours does he even play? Like, he's already played Wolfenstein Youngblood. That's not coming out until July 26th, 2019. And as of today, as of recording for this video, is the 18th of 5th or May. 2019 he's already played it and that's all he gave does it does it give me how many hours it is played it no it doesn't like i don't understand why would bethesda give this guy a free copy to review the game when all the, all this review is going to say is i'm commander shepherd and this is my favorite game on steam giving it a little thumbs up you know like people were pointing out the problems with steam but i i thought this would be a fun way of doing it because <laughs> as my brother said you know you, you look at a picture like that and it's like you know maybe they're just doing it because they find it funny but it's like I doubt it I doubt it I mean that that is kind of the meme face but oh here's another one here's another one nep 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 literally just for every title just for all of them I don't know if this one's getting them as well, but at least, at least they have a little gift thing. So I guess that that's something. How, how do you even get this many followers? Like, what do they? Why do they follow you? What do they get from this? I don't. I don't understand. Who's supporting you? Why are people giving you money or, or giving you free copies to review the? Like, I feel like companies just do it so they get an extra recommendation before like the game even releases 
Like, I feel like it's literally just for that, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe these could actually be bot accounts. Is that a thing? Bot, bot stem curators? Co-op cowboy approved. This, again. Oh, yes, I remember this one. At least with this one, he says hodor differently. A, hodor. B, hodor. C, hodor. D, hodor. And then the others are hodor, love. Hodor, love. And then hodor, too. For that one, I, I don't... I, I don't know what the fuck is going on about, but, um... At least he doesn't copy and paste it, so that's, um... Slightly better than the others, I guess. Terminator T-800. That, that's not even the Terminator... Fuck it, what? Terminator recommend this. No, not recommends. Or has recommended, or... Or, or whatever. Just Terminator recommend this. All right. Terminator, you better go recommend this, you fucking... <laughs> uh, kawaii with a little face with a heart a thing in it, or whatever the fuck. Yes or no reviews. Yes, 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 yeah. Fucking just drives me nuts. And then, no, I am your father. I'm your father, Luke, join me. At least with this, they use the proper line for Darth Vader. But I, I still don't... What are you doing playing Crossroads roguelike RPG, bro? <laughs> Who plays that? And they're Batman. Because I'm Batman. I, I mean, that truly explains everything, doesn't it? That, that, that needs no further introduction. Uh, this one... This one I've covered before just why I hate this one. Like, this is... It's more, you know, kind of, um, how, how I would fucking talk about reviews and, you know, how, how a lot of people, like, a lot of people kind of, when they go through tons of games, they just look for, like, they get so used to the stand of, like, going through, like, so many different games that once they find something great, they're like, anything below it is shit, and so they... They, they don't deserve to work. Because, you know, there's so many hours, only so many hours in the day, and you're only going to be playing so many games within the day that you're only going to get enough time to get around to so many. But my general concept on reviews or critique is, it's not the process of explaining why this is good or bad. It's not, you know, like, this isn't, does it tick enough boxes to be the best thing ever? Is it really artistic or, you know, is it good and what defines good to me it's simply play the game or watch a movie or whatever from beginning to end find out if you like it or if you dislike it you know like as you play you, you kind of just reflect and you're like yeah that, that overall i enjoyed this experience you know i had fun watching i, I didn't you know fall asleep or you know want to stop playing for whatever reason and walk away from it if you overall felt like even you wanted to go back to it, then you enjoyed it. Then the part of critique to me is assessing, now, why did you enjoy it? And trying to explain it is what I find a review is. is just you doing that, but to someone else, obviously. Because there's, there's no point to you doing it just for the sake of doing it for yourself. <laughs> but this is like... If it's not the best thing in the world, then it's not worth ever being anyone's time. It's not worth it even existing. And it's like, fuck, right off, you perfectionist little shit. <laughs> but it sounds like he's coming out of some fucking little shit rich boy's fucking mouth. You know, like, this isn't the greatest game. Like, System Shock, the, the one that this is, it, it isn't even out yet. Like, this, this thing's still fucking coming out and it's like it's not the best thing ever it's like it's still being fucking developed you little shit like what the fuck you want about like it hasn't actually like i can't you know like coming soon it, i mean i don't know why it says available fucking 2018 there because it's like it's it's been like two years since that it's been waiting even longer than that still and it's it's still being developed and it is 
<laughs> like on an incomplete game, just like it's not good enough, it's not worth it to like what? <laughs> like, uh You know that that's not representative of the final product. It's just I mean, people don't even can't even take anything away from these reviews, you know, like well, what are you meant to take away from fucking you know, like what what am I meant to take away from like what am I supposed to take away from approved by HTTPS culture dot VG uh, line hundred percent cutting edge hardcore gaming like what are you why are you trying to get your site approved like stop advertising your site in your fucking review mate just fucking do the review like when YouTubers have their own video included, it's generally so there's more context so, that, so you can look at what they're talking about and see like, okay, because if someone, say, refers to the the textures or the artistic style, you generally want to see that, right? So, so it generally makes sense to just include your videos. That's not the same thing as advertising straight up, just like, look at my website, you know, we, we, we approved the, our website's about cutting edge hardcore gaming. It's, that doesn't tell you anything about the game. We're here to find out about the game, not your website, you fuck nugget. But yeah, so these are many, like there's so many curators that are just like this, that just copy and paste their reviews. It's fucking insane. I mean, like over half of the fucking curators that I have blocked are like this. And how many do I even have? I've got like 70 something. It's fucking ridiculous. It, it almost makes me think of how fucking Epic Games has completely stopped reviews, which is like, that is way worse, but you know, all you really need to do is realize that it's a copy and pasted fucking thing, and, and just realize, okay, maybe that's worth preventing them from being able to, you know, get games early to review them, you know, maybe that's worthwhile checking out. I mean, stopping reviews in and of itself is kind of ridiculous, especially when there's a huge difference between curators and user reviews. User reviews shouldn't ever be stopped. Maybe if you wanted to filter them separate from curators, that'd be a bit different. But otherwise, you know. Besides, if, if you do cut off people's possibilities to make reviews, then they'll just seek other revenues to put their, let their voice be heard. They won't just stop there, you know, like, you'll just increase the anger and frustration, you'll just increase the voices of them and justify their aggression towards you, which is way worse than letting them talk to you. You want them to express their anger to you as opposed to your customers, because there's a huge difference there. Like, that, that's exactly why stores have their own customer complaint system built in, like, all of them, even the ones that don't do refunds or anything have a but anyway it's nice to do a video again suicide